we could open up with the scene where like the mom tries to ice the dog. <laughs> Stepmom goes to shoot the fucking dog. Why are fucking... we open with that? <laughs> is there a reason? Is there? Are you just? Uh, have you fully embraced the sicko <laughs> lifestyle? Is that what's happening? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Point points goes full sicko mode. Hey, hey, hey! I'm embracing what dog movies are like. Let's start with killing the dog. What? <laughs> Sky dog. Sky dog. Welcome to Rough Cuts, everybody. <laughs> Dogs, they're coming. They're coming your way. They'll be here soon. Welcome to the Chesapeake Bay CIA Operations Center. Welcome, Agent Lifestone. What did your mom do? Well, she's an accountant, I think. I'll do anything stupid. The payment's been authorized. This better go through. Mr. Whitmore? Who's cool? Lifestone. You are. Your parents work for us. A buy went bad today. The canister's empty. Okay, people, let's go. We've got an agent to find. We have the weapon and the plane. We told you not to pursue, or Agent Lifestone is history. Don't get any crazy ideas. Machine! You don't have a driver's license so you can fly a plane? Come on, Sky Dog. Let's fly. Welcome to Rough Cuts. I don't know what the fuck we just watched. <laughs> I'll be honest. <laughs> it it certainly has dog in the name. It does. Yeah. I was... You were saying about writing notes earlier and yeah. uh, how you don't know what any of them mean. And I, so I've been trying to be better about writing notes and I gave up for this movie because I realized that if I wrote notes, all I would do is look at them and go, wait, what the fuck? What does this mean? Because <laughs> like, I don't know what anything meant. And I just watched the movie. I have no idea what any single scene of that movie meant. Y yeah. Like I wrote down yeah. radio comms and now I'm like, wait, what did that mean? I think that I, okay, I remember that. That was the audio at the beginning where his stepdad and the kid are, it starts with them in a plane flying and the dad's like, you're not flying well enough, kid, you suck. And he's just berating the, the kid, but they're pilot and co-pilot. So they're sitting there like two feet apart, but the audio they use is that, uh, dad, I'm here flying the plane. And it's like the actual radio audio. Like it's got the full crackle. They actually recorded off of their like headset mics and it's them talking like that. But, but why? in the plane next yeah. to each other. Why? Josh, if you really want to fly, you need to focus on preparing to land. It's fucking wild. The worst part about that scene is that his stepdad set him up to test his pilot knowledge. Mm -hmm. Purposefully with an impossible task that he knew he would fail on so that he would fail. I put him in a tough situation. In fact, impossible. Yes. Just to be an asshole. Yeah, correct, yes. And he even says, actually, it's weird. I set him up to fail, and he still succeeded. So I had to lie to him and tell him that he failed anyway. <laughs> yeah, wow. That's, that's literally that's literally what he does. And he's the good dad. Because I love him. Movie. Yeah. Because I love him. Yeah, he's the good one. The one we care mm -hmm. about. Yeah. He's, he's the good dad. That's Dean Kane, in fact, from NCIS. It sure is. <laughs> Welcome back to the world of Christian dog movies. <laughs> by, by the way, in this film, our main character, who's a 35-year-old high school student, gets gaslit by everyone around him for two hours. <laughs> when you... We had a technical problem when we first started this, and you were saying the most important thing is he's a gamer. And he's and I a went, gamer. So here's your problem. You're a gamer. No, 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 Boyks. The most important thing is that he loves Christ. <laughs> and also that God has entered his life at two times in this film for no reason. Very randomly. I, I, so this yes. is the ultimate bait and switch movie. This is Sky Dog. Yes. It has no sky, no dog, and it's marketed as a Christian film, 
Which we found out there's no Christian later. At and there's, all either. Like, there is there's no I I would be so mad if I was a Christian that had wanted to watch this movie because like twice in this film somebody just randomly walks into the scene and goes, Hey kid and they're like he's like, Hey, what's up, man? And it's like, Oh, you know, I was just studying for school. Did you know that the most important thing is that our creator is in heaven and <gasps> loves us? I thought you should know, bro. I thought you should know that the one thing you need to do is bring God into your life. <gasps> Sky dog. <laughs> like but that the, but that happens twice, yeah. right? Like Yeah, the, the scene ends and it has no purpose and nothing happens. It's literally you you'd think yeah. that there'd at least be like a moment of him I mean, I didn't I didn't want to see this. But no. you'd think that if they were gonna do that, they would have a moment of him like going down and being like praying, being like God, you know, I really wish that my mom would get out of that terrorist black site from the CIA yeah. and be rescued, and that the terrorists wouldn't land VX gas all over the country. That would be great. I love you, God. And then, like, something would happen, and he could be like, wow, it's God. It's a miracle. No, there's nothing like that. They just randomly put, like, two different times where somebody says, God's really cool. Did you know that God exists? He's cool, too. And then they just leave. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing happens. This movie feels like it was written as, like, some sort of power fantasy by a middle schooler. Right? It's weird. Yes. But but it's a middle schooler who specifically is a, yeah, who is specifically obsessed with, like, anti-terrorist propaganda. L- that's what I was going to say. The dark secret is that this isn't, like, a high schooler fantasy. This is the fantasy of every weirdo right-wing incel person that you see on Twitter. The main character is literally an incel. Yes. 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 I don't even. Yes. I don't even. Yes. It is... This is a weird fever dream propaganda movie for strange incels online. It's... Like weird Christian incels. That's what this movie is. It, yeah, that's what it I is. Guess. What I it guess. Is. I guess. I mean, what it is. It's kind of as much as it is anything, because honestly, it is also just all over the fucking place. Is this weird <laughs> fever dream? Nothing really ties together or makes sense. This movie yeah. doesn't have a whole lot of through line. There's action scenes. There's like matrix. Okay, action, 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 action scenes. scenes. What action scenes are there? Please, there's, boy. There's there's plane flying. There's the big game. There is the big game. Oh my god. There's quote unquote spy shit. There's him in two different high schools encountering high school drama with two <laughs> different sets movie. of friends in, in the, the same, same movie. movie. Um, yeah. There's secret agent mom and dad, and then there's second secret agent mom and dad yeah yeah (laughs) he has two different sets of parents that are both secret agents and they're both absolute shit to him they're both terrible shitheads yes both sets um there are sleeping pills that i thought was random but turns out are actually plot important oh yeah because at one point like this high school girl that our main character incel is stalking yes Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> I need to point out, we're not joking. No. This is this fucking movie. Yes. She gets approached by her mom after a lady claiming to be a CIA agent busted into her home and said that she was dating this guy at high school who's also a CIA agent and she was going to ice them if they ever talked to him again. And then she opened up the conversation saying... Oh, you want to talk to me? Oh, did I forget to put your sleeping pills out again? My bad. Yep. Alice, we need to talk. Oh, I forgot your sleeping pills again. No. Wait, what? Why would, why would the it, high, it's so they could? Why would the high school kid pick up sleeping pills for her mom? Can't her mom do that? Why? Well, no, she probably sent her out for smokes too. I guess, like, like it's just like... it's fucked. Up. It's so weird. Uh, by the way, we say high school kids. These are like. Late 30s, early 40s. Yes. These are not high school kids. One of them is very clearly in his mid-30s, and he's just hanging out with these, like, 20-year-olds at the school and going to the prom and in class. 
this is Starship Troopers like, levels <laughs> of people that are very obviously like 35 to 40, but all sitting in high school desks. It's like, real bad. Like Steve Buscemi just sitting at a desk being like, yeah, mm-hmm. hello fellow kids. The, I'm also a kid. The one guy the is movie. like super pockmarked and like wrinkled yeah. and has... And it's like, uh, if this dude is under 35, I would be surprised. It's... Oh my god. Like, he's double the age that he needs to be, plus. Get Jackson's mom always gives us way too much homework and tests. I'm 35. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> I don't have time for this shit. <laughs> God, that dude is so old. He's fucking... He's older than I am, right? <laughs> Maybe they held him back a couple years. <laughs> it's a couple. A couple decades. Maybe. This is the bullshit of 37. It gives us too much homework. Nothing. It changes everything. I... Yeah, I think we should just start talking about the film in, like, what happens. In chronological order? Because it's not going to make any fucking sense regardless. I don't know if if I I can do that. (laughs) I have notes. I I tried to write some notes, but it's hard to follow. I think we just write about it. It's going to sound like a shitpost. (laughs) It is. It was a shitpost of a movie. (laughs) But, But this is real. All of this happened in this film. I want you to know... We would not lie to you intentionally unless it was funny, but this is not one of those moments. <laughs> and this movie can't, cannot bring comedy. I mean, okay, it no. actually can a lot because it's so weird, but also, oh god. Uh, so the, the pilot test happens. Um, mm-hmm. That's the intro to the movie. Like, it just starts with them just in a plane doing this test. And then when they land, the mom comes over, which... We don't really, we don't really understand we the don't even know who she of is. any of these people. Yeah. We also don't know that this is his stepdad yet, yeah. or his dad, the, or the anything. The movie like... starts in the middle of the film, yes. where we've already been introduced to all the characters, but they cut all of that. Correct. Because it's just him and this older guy talking on radio, radio communications like he's a pilot, and you have no idea that he's a student. Like, he's supposed to be a high school mm-hmm. student, but he's 30, so when you're watching this, you're going like, oh, okay, so this is some, like, guy our age doing a pilot test, well, and then... It's a guy our age that talks like, yeah, well, you see, oh, I lost God, his voice. my pilot I, license. I think it's his real voice, so I don't want to make fun I of it too it much, is, but also but, like, he's just... funny. He talks like this the whole movie. He has a super okay. nasally voice. That's our hero. It's, it's like you picked Wallace Shawn to be the main character, is what we said before. Like, you, like oh, we're going to have no. a CIA action movie. Who do we need as the main character? I don't a know. Bob Let's get Cat. Wallace Shawn. Yeah. Like, Bobcat um, Goldthwait is what you said, but yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, anyways. Just, like, the the most miscast yes. voice person ever for this role. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know. Feet. Feet above what? Above sea level. He gets failed on purpose by his stepdad, who's a complete dick, and just wanted to fuck with him. Yeah, but, like, we don't know any of that. It's just these two people in a plane at first. Right. And then a third person, who is his mom, mm-hmm. we find out, eventually... But, like, it's just a person that comes to pick him up. She comes in and she's like, oh, hi, like, how Mm -hmm. did you do on your test? And he's like, I failed. And she's like, why did you fail him? And he's like, well, I had to to be a giant piece of shit. And then he gets a call and he's like, no, the $30 million won't suffice. You terrorists will never win. And they're like, wait, what? I'm there now. Uh, We will go for $30 million. Just make sure we get the location that we talked about. Million dollars. Sorry. Make the deal. What? Is this going to work? It has to. So, like, it just, that's just in the middle of that scene. It just goes immediately from him talking about failing to him doing this $30 million ransom thing with terrorists. And the woman there goes like... The dad, by the way, not the kid. No, the the dad, dad, yes. The kid is, like, waiting in the car. And the mom goes, like, starts having the conversation with him. And she's like, oh, they can't change the rules of the negotiation now or something. Mm -hmm. And you're like, what the fuck? Fuck it, like okay, wait. Do they all know? Are well, they just openly having it, CIA conversations? I guess open, it doesn't guess? even make sense because like, they're like, it's a thirty million ransom, and then right afterwards, a million dollar ransom. That's a lot of money. And then the guy on the phone's like, it's a twenty three million dollar ransom. 
<laughs> they can't even decide yes. on what the ransom is. Yeah, a minute later, they, they just random. pull out different numbers. I think there's three or four different numbers in the first five minutes of this movie that they use. Yeah. As it cuts they just between can't decide. places. Like, like, the writer was writing, like, 30 million. No, that sounds like too much. One million. Eh, that's not enough. <laughs> yeah. He kept changing it yes. mid-thought, but it's, then didn't go back. It's the right? Austin Powers joke, except that yeah. nobody yeah. actually, like, cha- they just changed their no. mind between scenes with no explanation instead. Uh, we are also introduced to the dog, because as the kid's leaving the hangar, oh, right. he just randomly sees a dog eating trash, and we get death signal that he's going to run the dog over, but then he doesn't. Uh, and then somebody driving by is like, Hey, is that your fucking dog? You better watch out or I'll fucking shoot it in the head next time I see it. Get that dog out of here. <laughs> yeah. Like, yes, yes. So, so then he takes the dog oh, home. That's not a shit post. Guess. He just he just sees this dog and he like, like comes over and he starts petting it. Somebody drives by and yeah. goes like, is that your dog? And he's like, yep. Oh, I'll fucking kill it next yeah. time I see it. Get it out of here. And you're like, oh, who what? does that to a dog? Hey, is that your dog? <laughs> You better keep him out of here. I'm going to call animal control. So then after the conversation of a ransom with terrorists who have a bomb, uh, we hard cut to the dad now proposing to the dog on the table with a ring. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Every kiss begins me? with K. Ah! Is this... <laughs> ah! What? <laughs> I don't think she's really your type. It's not a shit post. No. Which then leads into a scene of the kid going to sleep and having a dream sequence of him saving his friends on the rooftop of a building from a bomb terrorist who Except set up a doesn't. smartphone that's just a timer, but he fails and the bomb explodes because he doesn't know how to use a fucking touchscreen. This bomb is a cell phone just gently laid atop yeah a, because like they lay the cell phone on top of the bomb in this scene and that's how they start the bomb is they just put a I timer guess. on their cell phone and then just put lay the cell phone gently on top of the bomb like, the bomb like the being built-in timer app yeah yes the bomb <laughs> being also a bundle of dynamite sticks on top of a propane tank. Because in case the dynamite's not enough, like with, you just need to have no wires. No wires, There's no nothing attachments, coded here. nothing. It's just... Nothing to light it. There's just three things stacked on each other. And he's... Sure. He's also having a conversation, like, juggling a, like, MP4 and a cell phone. Mm-hmm. And he's, like, kind of, like, tucking the MP4 under his arm because he can't, like, do both. So he's doing that. And he's having this big action scene with his CIA stepdad thing. Yeah, action scene, quote-unquote. Action with finger quotes, yeah. And he's having, like, this big moment with Dean Cain, and you're like, oh, okay, so he knows that his parents are in the CIA. No. No. No, 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 no. No, he just has this dream for no reason. He just has a dream about them being action people for no reason. He thinks that they're accountants. Sure. What? So anyway, after you wake... After he wakes up from his dream, outside of the house, somebody's underneath his mom van. Mm -hmm. Messing with the brakes or something, or putting a tracker on it or something. So then he's like, hey, what the fuck are you doing? And the guy, like, slides back out from under the car, stands up, and just bops him in the face and walks off. (laughs) Yeah, the guy stands up, walks over to the kid, they stare eye to eye, and then the guy just slams him in the face and starts running (laughs) and i'm like okay i mean that's that's sure what it's a hell of a way to escape i suppose (laughs) oh my god (laughs) what what's going on dude uh what is happening so then he gets in the bomb van and drives after him in a car chase that lasts 10 seconds until he gets pulled over by a cop for speeding (laughs) Yeah, at which point he explains absolutely nothing to nobody mm-hmm. about why he did this. The cop's like, well, I, I charged him with all of these different things. And also, he's got a black eye. It looks like he was fighting. Anyway, I'm not going to ask mm-hmm. any questions about that because I'm a cop and I'm a piece of shit. See you later. <laughs> and this fucking leaves. All right, bye. And the dad's like, Truly. why would you do this? And the kid yeah. starts to explain. He goes, never mind. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> it just it's a really on. good explanation of cops. Like, uh, that's a good visual representation of a cop yes yeah here's all the money you need to pay the city goodbye i'm not gonna deal with this why would i solve a crime fuck that i don't need to solve crime i just need you to pay us money 
with his son here, he ran a red light. Uh-huh. And he was going 20 miles over the speed limit. Oh. And this it one here? Wait. It's for reckless driving. Yeah, that makes sense, yeah. But... Also looks like he's been fighting. <gasps> Aren't you... Oddly enough, he wasn't drinking. So anyways, because he lost his driver's license, it hard cuts to him at the big game. <laughs> the soccer game. Right, yes, they're and suddenly at the soccer championship at the school. I am... We're not <laughs> kidding. This, we're not his kidding. Legs, his legs hurt, so he can't play the game. So that everybody, he hurt the his players, leg? the parents, and everyone else is blaming him for blowing the big soccer game. Next time, think of your teammates before you do something so reckless. Yeah, asshole. Oh my god. <laughs> First time in a decade we've been this close. What? If we oh. win, we go on to the state finals. How is this? Let's get out there and bring this trophy home. This is just another movie. One, two, three. <laughs> Boys, we're just... I feel like we're quantum leaping movies here. <laughs> Yes, the coach is like, you <laughs> fucking moron, you absolute you idiot. Up. I can't believe that you've ruined this for everybody. And, like, he's just fucking tearing into him. You useless, unbelievably yeah. pathetic piece of shit that you would do this. I can't believe and how irresponsible you would be to do this. This is like a slow zoom in on him too mm -hmm. as he's disassociating from <laughs> yes. reality oh my god yeah they do. yeah so they do have him sitting the there fuck? just like blankly staring into the distance as it slowly zooms you in know, on him and you hear it, all of these like people yeah. berating him and they have to have consequences for their actions yeah. Cost us the championship. yeah oh my god lay it on thick fucker jesus christ that kid fucked up sure so his problem was he shouldn't have got he shouldn't have got punched and then lost his license trying to get the assailant that put a tracker on his mom's van. Yeah, how dare he? <laughs> how dare you? He just says you, nothing to anyone about not, this. He doesn't. This is what happens when you go against good Christian values of just <laughs> letting bad guys do whatever <sighs> and ignoring all of your problems. Anyway, so after he lost the big game, he got kicked out of school or something. Yeah, they expel him over this, I guess. Yeah, and then we cut to his mom, who works for Umbrella Corporation. <laughs> you know, the CIA. Same the thing. The CIA. Umbrella Corps. No difference. Right. What? Welcome to the Chesapeake Bay CIA is, Operations is Resident Center. Resident Evil? Please provide a Umbrella Corps. Look at the... God. I'm not wrong. Yo, the talking face. Positive. Welcome, Agent Lightstone. <laughs> Releasing virus in lab. <laughs> Voice recognition confirmed. Locking all doors. Elevator. As, as they're doing the handoff for the 23 million slash 30 million slash 1 billion dollar ransom. Mm -hmm. So there's like a Midwestern guy with a mustache who puts on spy glasses and is walking around. There's like a bald guy with a backwards cap who looks like he's trying to look 20 but he's 40 yeah also <laughs> like he's supposed to be this secret yeah. agent and he's just a guy in like a jogging suit and a backwards baseball cap running around sure. with a gun it's just it's like real obvious that he's not just some guy on the street this he's schlubby really unshaven dude like it's just oh god yeah. <sighs> oh my god so anyways they do that but as they're trying to do the handoff, their network gets hacked by a hacker doing hacking. Yes, where the line, I believe, was, Oh no, a new network popped up. So they auto-connected to another <laughs> Wi-Fi network, which broke their whole operation. I guess? I... What does that mean? <laughs> right. Like, and and simultaneously, as they're trying to solve their networking problem by going on their keyboard, that's to not to that's not appropriate. They don't actually type at any point. <laughs> well, they they hover over the keys like they're trying mm -hmm. to like you know hover hand a, a yes. person that they like. Yeah. Later on, Boix actually freeze framed to double check <laughs> to see what the kid was typing at one point because it zooms it in nothing. on his hands, 
And it was nothing, as it turns out. Fucking he didn't nothing. press a single key. He just hover-handed over the keyboard as they did typing sounds. So so as they're doing this handoff for the 23 slash 1 slash 30 million dollars, who knows? It's an amount of money, but it sounds big, but maybe not too big. Oh, but that's too big. This one's too small, though. We'll come up it's with a okay. number. It's okay. <laughs> we'll just so, fix it in post. So he's playing video games with his friend at home, and the video game looks like Call of Duty, but it's just an FMV game that's split screen, where it's some guy standing there with a cell phone camera next to his hand that's holding a gun, but it's at the wrist, so mm-hmm. like it doesn't look good. <laughs> and it's yeah, like they, 10 they just have our video. They just have a video that they've got on, like, a loop, yeah. and it's about ten seconds, because they keep pulling it up throughout the movie that he's mm-hmm. playing this video game, because this video game is very plot-important, and every time they show the video game, it's just the same ten-second loop yes. that they have put, like, a health bar over, and it's it's just the obvious pre-recorded video. It's incredible. <sighs> so he's playing the game, and his friend's like, hey, so uh, what does your mom do? I don't, know I don't know. Guess she's an accountant. I, I we know. figured at the time that he knew that she was CIA or something because of his dreams and everything. But no, nope, not at all. Plus, they're having conversations about the CIA in the open, like in front of the kid, like how they just answered their personal cell phone and started doing a thirty million dollar ransom conversation. Two seconds after he left this the room. This kid could have had tattoos over his whole body. And the whole time his parents are saying, you're going to be the Antichrist. We're raising you to destroy the world. And he would have been like, oh, I don't know. They're just like accounts or something. They like... <laughs> <laughs> like, fucking like oblivious. Just yes. fucking not even paying attention to anything. So he's telling this kid like in a quote unquote comedy scene. Uh, what's your mom do? I don't know, she's an accountant, she just, like, sits at the office all day, and, I don't know, like, pushes papers. Probably goes out for a donut sometimes and some coffee. So what does your mom do? Well, she's an accountant, I think. And it's, like, hard-cutting to her, like, very slowly kicking a guy in the balls, but, like, not in slow-mo. Just not doing a very good job of doing action. <laughs> Uh, it's the cuts in this for yeah. so that they can show that there's a kick are real good. It's a guy mm-hmm. pulls a gun on her and she kicks the gun out of his hand, but she's, it's a scene where she's 20 feet away from the guy and they're having yeah. a conversation as he has a gun on her. And then she goes, oh, look behind you kind of thing. And he looks and suddenly she's right in front of him. And it's like nothing personnel, kid. <laughs> he kicks yeah, the gun out of his she, like, teleports. She just teleports. Yeah. She, she teleports all over the place because she kicks the gun out of his hand and then she teleports back 20 feet. And it's just incredible. All of this stuff is, it's unbelievably yes. badly uh, choreographed and shot. It's something but, to see it's hard to parse into audio into it, an audio so much. format but there's it so is so much but she she knocks out the terrorist that she was negotiating the deal with uh using her Why special she do spy that? powers of things uh, i think it's because the she didn't actually have the money with her to like transfer the money for the deal so they were trying oh, to Oh, because stall. their network went down. Right, because, because the, the network, new network went down. So they in. couldn't transfer right. the funds, mm-hmm. yeah, because of the Wi Fi chain. I don't know. So, so then she just, like, kicks him in the balls and knocks him to the ground. And another guy comes by. He's like, What'd you do to him? What'd you do? I kicked him in the balls. Oh. Mm-hmm. And then he takes her hostage. And she quickly, like, writes a message to her son and texts him and then yes. throws a pen on the ground. Yeah. Which we'll get back to she eventually. She throws a bick on the ground and yeah. sends her son a message that says Sting R. Stinger. Stinger. Sting. Stinger. Stinger. Which he Sting, can't figure Stinger. out, even though the, apparently mm. the message is just that he plays his video game all day, which is called Stingray. Yeah. But he somehow doesn't know that she's he referring to the video game. Doesn't understand. He has no idea. This, this has got to be some weird code. Oblivious weirdo <laughs> incel just Doesn't plays video games just... all day and disassociates from life and treats the people you know what this movie is actually pretty good biopic on a very specific type of person yes yeah no this is an enlightening movie for <laughs> a certain section of our society today and it really Weird. sucks Weird. but it's amazing that he gets the message sting r 
yeah. and doesn't realize that it's just missing a Y for like 45 minutes. So he doesn't realize that it's about the video game. Like for um, an hour or something of this movie, he's like, I don't correct. know what it could mean. It could be anything. And he's like looking for messages everywhere that would match up with Sting R. And it's like, you play a video game called Stingray. It's literally missing two letters. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> correct. So he <sighs> is then told by his stepdad slash pilot trainer asshole that, oh, by the way, your mom has been abducted by terrorists and we've been lying to you your whole life. Your name isn't actually Josh Morgan. It's Colt Lifestone. Here's your passport mm-hmm. that we got made for you in secret with a photo we took of you. And it shows your birth date, which is question mark, question mark, question mark. Colt Lifestone. Classified. Date of birth is classified. Who's Colt Lifestone? You are. What? Towards the end of the Cold War, the Soviet Union made thousands of liters of biological weapons. What? The movie couldn't let you know his birth date because then you'd know he absolutely shouldn't be in high school. (laughs) So uh, we also find out that his real dad is dead because he was also a CIA agent who went into a warehouse and got sniper shotted by some other guy for some reason. And then he died alone, sad and cold in the dark, by being shot through the heart. Yep. Sky dog. Sky dog. <laughs> this is way more brutal than it should be. Agent down. Okay. He dies in a. They just <laughs> randomly flash back to his dad getting shot in this random warehouse once. Running away, stumbling through the warehouse, and then collapsing. And they go, yep, that's how he died. It's like, uh, was that important? Should we know why he died? Is there a reason? Like, yeah. Anything that matters here? I'm a little confused about what happens next. (laughs) Which, I'm confused about most (laughs) stuff in this movie. You mean for everything. Yeah, like everything that happens next. So his dad's dead. His mom's been captured by terrorists. His stepdad apparently wants nothing to do with him, so these other two CIA agents decide to, like, be his fake family instead. Yes, they adopt Why didn't his stepdad safe house? Just take him? What? Why? I have an answer for you. Um, because his stepdad is Dean Cain, and Dean Cain costs money. Oh, they wanted to get <laughs> him out of the film. They, did, they didn't right. need him for the whole movie. Right. That's the answer. That's the real answer to that question. So he's like, okay, if I'm going to go live with these weird random CIA agents, I'm taking my dog with me. Because mm-hmm. Sky Dog. By the way, this is a movie called Sky Dog. We just need to <laughs> remind you, this is Sky Dog. <laughs> oh, and he named the dog. The dog's named Oreo now. It's named We Oreo. remembered to put a dog in the film. Oh, wait, one more thing. Oreo! Oh, we named the dog. Dude, we have a dog in this. There's a dog? So then he goes to a new high school because he lost. He had to move away from his old high school now that he moved to this new safe house with his new fake family CIA agents. And because his old high school hates him and is in a different district because he lost the big yes. game by losing his license and getting punched. He joins this yes. new high school and immediately creeps on a girl next to him by like very grossly looking over her shoulder at her locker and say like seeing... Her calendar or like yeah, a Yeah, he sees or her something. schedule and he's like, oh, you're, I see you're free from 1030. And she's like, get away no. from me. <laughs> no, I'm not. So you're available at 1036 a.m.? And he's like, well, it shows it on your schedule because I'm creeping on you. And he's just doing this whole routine with her and she's like, this is super fucking creepy. And he goes, yeah, is it? Yeah, it is really creepy. like huh? me. She's like, no, I, I, I really don't. But actually she does, because that's the kind of movie this is. He talks some kid in school into going to his house to play video games with him. Okay, I just you say talks him into. He's sitting down at lunch. I just, Mm -hmm. I need to go into this, because I remember this, and I was so mad and confused about it. I don't fucking remember this scene, so go for it. Okay, he's sitting at lunch, and he's the new kid, and she's looking at him and going like, oh, God, he's so gross. And she's mm-hmm. talking to her friends and being like, oh, yeah, that's like that weird insult kid who was like creeping on me. Oh, my God. 
Does anybody even want to talk to him? He seems like, like a real weird This is creeper. the kid that everybody in the school thinks will shoot up the school one day. Well, yes. he shows up also in a leather jacket yes. wearing wraparound shades and being like, Yo, kids, how you doing today? You doing I'm good? Not, what's like, up? I'm not 30. <laughs> what's up, kids? <laughs> like, he's doing this whole yeah. thing. Anyway, so he's doing that stuff because he's like, yeah, no, at my old high school, I was super popular. And he's doing all this stuff like that. Uh, and everybody's yeah. treating him like an absolute loser because he is. And he's being ostracized at lunch and she's gossiping with her friends about what a loser he is. And as she's doing that, she's like, I bet he doesn't even have any friends kind of thing. As he's, she's doing that, this guy walks up to him and he goes... Yo, bro, how you doing? He's like, yeah, doing pretty good. And they do, like, this bro handshake and, like, explosion fist mm -hmm. thing. And then he's like, coming over for games later? Yeah, bro. And that's it. That's that's how he gets oh, that introduced was the to setup. his new friend. That okay. was the setup. Good. That was good. it. That's why I was like, wait, but he's never seen this kid before. Who's this bro? <laughs> it's like, they just, they instantly well, see each other across the lunchroom and they're like, Oh man, bro radar going off. You play Stingray? Yeah, I play Stingray. Do you yell slurs at people while you do oh, it? Oh, you know Fuck I yeah, do. Yeah, I do. <laughs> like, that's what I love best about Stingray is the part where I yell that's, slurs that's what I online. All the time. I'm always on my headset yelling slurs at people Jesus. online. You see, Fuck the first yeah, problem bro, let's was, go play Stingray. Yeah, the first problem you had was you were a gamer, right? Oh. So here's your problem. You're a gamer. Anyway, he takes his friend home. They open up a no soliciting sign outside the front door, and the AI from Umbrella Corps is there saying, uh, uh, what was it? It was like, uh, I need to scan you for entry or something. So, so something then he scans like his that. fingerprints into the system, which Resident Evil Umbrella Corps will use for whatever, which mm -hmm. then opens the front door. Again, Which not just explaining allowed to any bring of his it. friend in. Yeah, yeah and his friend's yeah. just like, "What the fuck, bro?" So, also, so like, yeah, I just want to mention that you're saying like this evil AI. It's a lady that's talking, and she's. It's is it a JPEG? It feels like it's a JPEG. Uh, they like animate the mouth slightly. I think it's a real video, but she's not showing any emotion, and they just like they shot a a, a light grid on her face. Yes. Is what it did. But the way so, that her mouth moves, yeah. it feels like it's just animation. It feels like they do, but, like, the Monty Python, like, do you know what I mean? Like, oh, the, the, jaw, the yeah. nutcracker mouth? The, like, the problem is that they installed this AI on every computer at the CIA umbrella store, <laughs> which, as we all know, is a good idea, because the AI won't just decide that there's a threat at some point, lock every mm -hmm, door, and mm -hmm. kill everyone inside. So now we need to install in her house, which has an underground, like entryway to the facility that the CIA... This is just fucking Resident Evil. I'm not it's even kidding. So... There's so many points yeah. in this movie where I'm like, this could just be Raccoon City. It keeps oh, happening. Yes. Yeah. It keeps happening. Yeah. Get out. Get out. You can't be in here. Don't listen to anything she says. So anyway, fuck, he takes his friend home, tells him to go upstairs to play video games, and his fake mom stops him at the stairway. He's like, hey, uh, who the fuck's that? A friend from school? Oh. Well, if he shows up here again, I'll fucking blast him. I'll fucking kill him. I'll do it in front of you and then bury his body somewhere you'll never see. Yes. <laughs> Which, again, <laughs> they didn't need to let him go to school. What? They're evil traitors that are, for the CIA, that are yeah. supposed to even, even if they're not being traitors, their whole goal here is to keep <sighs> him in a safe house away from terrorists. Correct. And, like, hidden. Why the fuck are they letting him go to school? Under his now real name. I don't know. But they don't even he, give him, like, this is the funny thing. Again, like, this is like a movie in reverse. Oh, he changed his he, name to Colt. He's, at this he's point living a film, real life right? with yeah. his, he's living a real life with his mom under a fake name. And then their cover gets blown. And so they give him his real name and put him in a safe house. That's not how that works. Yeah. <laughs> Like, it's the other, what the fuck are you talking about? But he makes the, the Stinger-Stingray connection as they boot up Stingray to, to yes. play Call of Duty. Stingray. It's a game of high cruel digit. Oh my god. Afterwards, he goes back to school and he's in the library listening to a really interesting uh, interview about biological weapons from Russia and how they're going to kill the whole country someday. And, yes, and the cold I do want to interrupt for a second. The reason yeah. why he's doing that is the stingray thing. He pieces it together because he's like, oh, 
my game's about an agent that's on the inside that's a actually a traitor. Whoa. I guess that maybe there's this traitor in the CIA. And so he's looking up weapons of mass destruction like a normal high on school student On the school does. computer. On the school computers. He's looking up, like, guns and where he's to watching buy them. C, he's watching C-SPAN about, like, terrorist Congress videos where they're like... This is what a terrorist would do to you. Like, it's just this... This man is yeah. the hero. I want to point out, this is incel propaganda. This whole movie. Mm-hmm. This whole fucking movie. Yeah, he's sitting there in his leather jacket with his wraparound shades on in the school library looking up weapons of mass destruction. <laughs> what the fuck? So, so mm-hmm. anyways, then we go to church where he has a confession with his girlfriend about needing Jesus in his life. Yes, because the girl walks in on him doing this and finds it really like, hot, why are you and so now up she just weapons decides... of mass destruction. Oh, because I love them. Me too. Yeah, <laughs> she just decides that she likes him now. I don't know. Whatever. There's oh no God. reason why she likes him, right? Like, there's never no. an actual discussion no. of her saying like, like there's he doesn't say anything to her. She doesn't. It Nothing. just happens. No, she sees him happens. looking up stuff, and then she's like. Oh, he seems like a cool guy, oh, actually. That, that that part where you were looking up how to make pipe bombs, that's so hot. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm also into radical terrorist movements. Jesus Christ. So, well, actually, before the confession, he technically told his fake dad about his theory of the double agent thing. Yeah. Which his dad was like, that no, that's thing. stupid, go away. Yes. But, so, so he goes to church, he confesses to the girl he likes that he's actually a cia like kid and his name's not actually his name his name's colt and he's cool and that should make but that is his name hot. Now. yeah and she's but like that is oh his my name God. now he's like oh my my real name is actually colt lifestone you know the name that i go to under this school the one that oh. you know you know that's the same name that jesus's 15th apostle had <laughs> <laughs> Da like Vinci shit like that. Code this shit. Yeah, fucking shit uh. like that, right? So, but then uh, as he's talking to her, he's like, "Yeah, I, I after I told you all this stuff, I think there's a double agent. My mom's been abducted by terrorists because she works in the CIA. But I told my fake dad that, and he didn't believe it. He just said I'm an immature gamer." And then you told the CIA. Well, I told Mr. Porter, but he laughed at me. <sighs> he thinks I'm an immature gamer. So here's your problem. You're a gamer. Yo, which he is. Correct. So, yes. <laughs> I don't yeah. know. Seems accurate. If only he wasn't a gamer, nothing would have happened to his mom by terrorists. He never had a problem. These terrorists Jesus. would have never won if he just didn't game. If he loved Jesus and stopped gaming. The, I... the... Maybe See, that's not even the message. I like no, we're joking I don't here know. because there's no message. I don't there's know. There's zero what the message, message is. is the thing. Because the... he just goes to church and he says, like, boy, I sure love God. Anyways, and then they just cut. Like it just cuts away from it. There's no bearing on anything else. Right. I don't remember where we go from here. I, I do. A lot it's, of high school shit. It's fucked up where we go from here. Because... Okay. I mean oh, this okay, whole so... movie is This is like an hour into the film, by the way. His, this movie is two hours oh, long. Jesus. So this his, movie. He goes home after the confession to his girlfriend. Now, I guess. I guess. Is she now his girlfriend? I guess. Yeah. I don't know. Um, but after that, we, we cut to his fake parents talking about the fact that uh, he brought up to them that they're probably not actually part of the CIA. Or if they are, they're probably double agents. And they're like, oh... We should probably follow that kid around and know what he's doing because he's getting too close to the truth. So we're going to chip his dog and make sure he goes everywhere with it by threatening him with violence and then shooting a real gun at his dog. Mm-hmm. And if it kills the dog, so be it. <laughs> I was joking about her icing him. Yeah, things happen when people don't follow the rules. I think that's actually what's going to happen. Tony Fox. Yeah. Okay. Don't leave. Die, oh. no. dog. What the fuck? Look what you just did. Uh, what? Now we're going to need a new dog dish. What? Sky dog. Sky dog. <laughs> Sky dog. 
That's the once again name of this movie. Yeah. Sky Dog. He jumps at the gun, which fires a live round at yes. the dog bowl, and she's like, "Look what you did! Ma- you broke the dog yeah. bowl. We're gonna have to buy a new one. You fucking awful human being." Because she was aiming it at the dog, and he jumped and shoved it out of the way and barely yeah. missed the dog. So, and she's like, "You better have that dog with you on all at th- all times, or I'm gonna." F- fucking shoot it i'm gonna fucking and blast that dog's brains out in front of you sky to dog drive the point home as to how serious this is it shows him holding the gun and he's just like shaking like trauma like holding this gun yeah he's super traumatized he's trembling and he has to like slowly put the gun on the counter all shaky and she's like if you ever do it again i'll fucking kill that dog you know, put that gun down. All right, you go to your room. And he's like, oh, okay. And he picks up the dog and walks up to him. And she's like, all right, that solves that problem. Now he'll carry the dog that's chipped with him everywhere. I guess. I did. So so then he spends the rest of the movie carrying a dog that's chipped with him everywhere. <laughs> he, he just has it cradled under his arm in like every scene after this. Sky dog. Because sky, sky dog. dog. <laughs> so anyway, he realizes that his fake family is probably fucking... Not actually the the CIA agents that he thinks he are. Or they're bad CIA agents. They're bad CIA so, agents, So then he, yes. he comes up with a plan to go meet his stepdad at his home with his girlfriend and the dog. To go talk yes. to him and tell him that he thinks that there's double agents. Uh, uh, they first have to break into yeah. their own house, though. He lets his friends in mm-hmm. through the window. He... He wants to discover more information about them, so he has his friends come over and sneak into the house, which he knows the security codes for because they gave them to him for well, that reasons. Does, that does Why happen do here, that? huh? And yeah. he also, but his dad is his his third dad, so not his stepdad. That's <laughs> how many dads are in this? But his, his, his new traitor CIA dad is. Like, slowly lifting a, like, 15-pound weight <laughs> in his arm yeah. because he's, like, keeping in super CIA like, shape. By the way, this is, again, get, like, like, this dude's yeah, a this, plumber. This is just, <laughs> like, to get, like, phone information of, like, text messages and stuff from him, right, basically? Yes, yeah, something like yeah, that. I, it's yeah. some kind of info. But it's really funny because he he goes, like, oh, I want to I wanna be a secret agent like you one day. Uh, so how much weight do I have to lift to do that anyway to, like, distract him? And he, like, grabs a, like, 30-pound dumbbell, and he's, like, lifting it with both hands really awkwardly in this weird yeah. way, trying to do bicep curls, and it's just fucking like this, the most this embarrassing actor shit. Lift. Yeah, no. No, it's embarrassing. well, it, and it, yeah, it's not, and it's not, I don't think it's meant to be that the kid's not able to do it, and so he's acting no. like he can't. He's just, he doesn't know how to lift a weight, so no. <laughs> it's just... Amazing. But, so they get information from the phone. They go talk to stepdad after, like, convincing the CIA agents not to just blast them in the face. Dean Kane stepdad, not evil CIA. Yeah. Except there's too many dads in this stuff. movie. <laughs> not dead dad, stepdad, but not fake stepdad, real stepdad, real stepdad. Yes. No, that's not confusing at all. Yeah, they break onto his uh, like compound mansion estate place Mm -hmm. that he has he tells his stepdad his real stepdad that his fake stepdad is probably a double agent and his mom left him a message about a video game which is how he knows that and his real stepdad tells him you're fucking crazy i have no idea what you're talking about i'm gonna gaslight you (laughs) like everyone else go back here go back to your evil stepdad you idiot and yeah, sends so, him back. Well, he sends him back, but only after the kid's like, oh, by the way, where did they abduct my mom? Well, that's classified information. Come on! It's my birthday! Just tell me. Come on! What's it gonna hurt? I'm just a little guy. Mm. So then he tells him where his mom was abducted. He's like, cool. I'm not gonna go there. And then he goes yeah. there. <laughs> <laughs> no, and then he immediately goes there. At which point, he finds the pen, yeah. which has a like flight school uh well, logo on it yeah he brought his friend with him too the one he's been playing video games with and he chooses this moment to finally tell him oh by the way i'm also a cia kid and my name's not the name i told you okay so i think that he's actually been using his real name this whole time though i thought that he was still using colt lifestone his actual real name at this new school i didn't think that they gave him a second identity i thought that he he dropped his fake identity at the first school 
and now is using his real identity. Mm. And I'm thinking that he's like, yeah, you know that name that you've been calling me? That's my real name. I used to have a fake name because I was on the, in the CIA. I think that that's what's been happening. Maybe I'm misremembering, yeah, but I think that's what I, it I think, was. I kind of feel like they go back and forth because they're hack frauds. They don't know I, how to write a script. Yeah, I don't remember. It's been yeah, weird. But it feels like he's dropping this important truth bomb on them. But, like, I'm positive that at the school he's been Colt Lifestone. I'm positive that at different points in the school he's just used his actual non-CIA fake name. I don't know. This stuff is... Colt fucking Lifestone is the most fake name it's there the is. the most Come fake on. name there is. It's amazing. No. Anyway. But, so or- his dog Oreo finds a pen yes. that his mom threw, which has the name of a flight school. Mm-hmm. Which is the same flight school that he was learning at earlier with his stepdad. Except it's not. Don't worry about it. It's not, just the same set. It's, it was not, it's not. not the same one. It's not. Absolutely can't be the same it's one. Different. Don't worry about it. It's different. It's different. It's different now. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's not just any flight school, though. It's a terrorist flight school. The fake mom, double-crossing double agent, goes mm-hmm. to the, the house of the parents of the girl that he's hanging out with. Uh, just barges in the front door. He's like, hey, I'm a CIA agent. And your daughter's like hanging out with this uh, guy at the school who's also a CIA agent. And if I ever see her around him again, I'll fucking kill your whole family. Yep. <laughs> this is at least accurate oh, okay. to the CIA as I understand it. This makes sense. <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. So I, I guess she stops going out with him. Or whatever. Except she doesn't, because uh, none of that matters. And she doesn't. And then, in order to get him to drop looking for his mom, uh, the CIA director calls Fake Dad, who then talks to Colt and tells him that his mom's dead and to stop looking. She's fucking dead. Oh my god, she's dead. Yes, she's absolutely dead. Which, at this point, we're like, oh, wow, the CIA director's in on it. Because the CIA director phones and is like, we've got to get this kid off the case and does this. Uh, I guess. And we're like, oh shit, it goes all the way to the top. We have reason to believe that your mother is dead. (gasps) Oh! I'm so sorry. This whole movie is just about gaslighting this kid. Holy shit. But it's completely unrelated, and he was wrong. So I don't know what the fuck this point was. What was the point? Yeah, he's not actually evil. He didn't what? betray anybody. The CIA director was totally innocent. He's he, just incompetent. He just called him up and told him his mom was dead because. Uh, can you can you help me out? I I had trouble. I didn't write all the it's notes. Just... It's not it's not in my notes. Is it in your notes why this happened? Because um, I'm Cause... looking. It's it's a prank, bro. It's a pr- okay, it was a oh, it was a prank yeah. the whole time. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, yeah. there we go. Um, so then we get in a very important scene where he talks to his friend that he plays video games with, and his friend's like, "You just gotta have faith, and the only way to have faith is with a higher power above you, the Lord, the Lord, and let Jesus the Lord Christ into your life." You. Relationships give us purpose. <sighs> yeah. The greatest purpose comes from the greatest relationship. Yeah, with God. There we go. And that's a relationship yep. with a God who loves you. Fuck it! Yeah, there we go! <laughs> Get you! Mm. <laughs> oh, I hate it. Fuck. What does that have to do with anything? Anyway, bye. Anyways. <laughs> and they just this is, yeah, he's going through yeah, the high anyway. school looking sad, and his friend comes up to him and goes, Yo, bro, have you done Jesus? And he goes, No, I haven't. Cool, you should try Jesus. Anyway, goodbye, and he leaves, and then nothing happens. He doesn't, like, go, Jesus, oh, where's okay. my mom? No, nothing. Just, just, just moment. No, just... Like, this is such a bait-and-switch movie for a bunch of different ways, because I'm sure as Christians, they're like, wait, is that it? Because <laughs> there's nothing else in this movie about Jesus. It's just that. It's such a bait-and-switch for even the Christians. It's so fucking amazing. So anyway, <sighs> now that he knows that his mom's dead, let's go to prom. So he goes to prom, where he does nothing but serve drinks to everybody at prom. Yes, he's he's wearing like an actual, the, he's even wearing a uh, like vest, like his, he's a uh-huh. server, and he's just sitting there passing out drinks at his own prom. You love me, and I heard my own heart God, this music's so fucking me, bad. I, <laughs> I hate this music so much. This, 
fucking blows. See, what you need to do is not get your parents killed by terrorists. And maybe shoot your surrogate parents who are backstabbing fucks. And everybody's sad, and he's sad, and nobody's having a good time, except that one 35 to 40 year old man with a skin condition who definitely got a date and is way better than our incel loser friend. Well, and who definitely got a date, and who the. Uh, the so the incel loser friend is all sad, and his. Yeah not girlfriend is all super sad because she's looking at yeah. the 40 year old guy with the skin condition and going oh man but that he's could so be me. hot I wish I was with him which is yeah. just the weirdest thing because he's so obviously like all of these people are way too old to be in high school but this <laughs> dude is the Steve Buscemi like he is yes, yes, he's yes. old and wrinkled and like it's just he is even more out of place than the rest of them like the rest of them are 30-year-olds pretending to be high school kids, but they're at least, like, the Hollywood 30 where they're, like, kind of baby-faced. Mm-hmm. You can still tell that they're way too old, but they're also, like, very make and kind of young-looking, eh, right? This guy like, is this not. Is... This guy's not in the slightest. This is like when they make a reality show. They're like, we're gonna make up your dad and, like, sneak him into high school or something and see if anybody knows. Yeah, the prank it. shows. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like yeah, that yeah, yeah. shit. Yeah, like, it's just a prank, bro. We were just gaslighting your whole life. That high school you went to, none of those were high school kids. Yes. Get fucked, oh, kid. <laughs> like, that shit. But, yeah, she's just pining that... over this guy that's yeah. obviously way too old to be in high school. And that we've... He's never said mm-hmm. a line. Has he? He's, he's just... He's a character in the film, I guess. He's just been in the class and all of the girls want him for no discernible reason we don't know anything about him we don't know his name we don't know anything you know what we do know he's not a gamer that which means he immediately do we know that is a better person i don't know maybe that's true (laughs) maybe he's just not a gamer that could be the thing that's why we need to be jealous of him because he's older and not a gamer and he gets all the girls but i can't why can't i get a girl like god I, I want to mention very uh, briefly that every girl in this movie is... So all of the high school girls, the way that you know that they're high school girls is they all like talk like this while they twirl uh-huh. their hair in their fingers the whole time. Uh, and oh my, oh god, my god, are you going to be at the thing on Sunday? I'm totally going to be like, there. Like, oh my god, he doesn't have a cell phone? That's like torture. Yes. We have, it's unbelievable how much hair twirling there is in this movie. Every single person in high school, every girl in high school the whole time is twirling their hair in every single (laughs) scene. Thankfully our main character has a widow's peak growing so he doesn't have to worry about twirling his hair. (laughs) So after that uh, (sighs) and after she has a talk with her dad after prom and is like, I want to go out with that guy, but the CIA said they would kill my whole family if I did. <laughs> and he's like, you should just do it. You should just do that. Okay. So then she gets back with him, and then they go on a, a adventure to go after these terrorists based on a, a pen that he found on the ground. Mm-hmm. Where his mom right. was abducted, because the other CIA man told him that that's where she was abducted, I guess. Which means uh-huh. that they know where she was abducted from, and they didn't investigate it at all, and find the oh, pen they didn't themselves, do anything. or do any of that. Yeah, they, they didn't, didn't bother to do, do any no. of that themselves. All the super spies at the CIA didn't do jack shit for that. By the way, uh, when I say that all the super spies at the CIA, this movie really, really wants you to think that these people are all incredible, cool super spies, and the CIA is the most powerful, awesome, good agency on the planet. They have American flags every five minutes in this movie. (laughs) They are absolutely (laughs) everywhere. There's like eagles crying in the background. mm -hmm. Every single time that they go into the high school, Mm -hmm. what they do is like when they're in the high school classroom, they start with a cut to the American flag that's hanging in the room and then slowly zoom out to the classroom. (laughs) Like, that's the Mm -hmm. kind of thing that this is. It's like, by the way, this is a classroom in America! (laughs) It's an American America. classroom. You need to know that because we're not the terrorists. You get it? We're Americans. <laughs> mm. CI's good. CI's gonna save everybody. That's what we do. 
Like, it's that that's, kind of movie. I watched this movie to get a direction. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, that, uh, that flag, <laughs> it's at full mast, and so am I. Just like me. <laughs> yeah, it's like this film. It's very much right. like that. We're going to get to a couple so, of scenes that have that even oh, more man. in a moment. Right right at the end, there's a ton of them in a oh, row. Oh, yeah. But so so they, they go to the flight school on the pen, mm-hmm. and they're like, hey, did anybody buy any planes recently? Has anyone also, bought a plane recently? Uh, we're on flight <laughs> school? And then he goes, well, but I'm interested in buying planes. And she goes, oh, well, if you want our plane buying department... <laughs> Oh, well, yeah, we have a plane buying department, obviously. That's Manny. Can I talk to Manny? He's not here. <laughs> yeah. Go, go away. Oh. Like, I couldn't tell if she was fucking with him. I know. But no, there's just a guy that sells planes from their flight yeah, school, Yeah, sure, we've got our buying and selling plane guy at our flight school, so, you fucking moron. So they, they, they wander over to the hangar which is not the same hangar that he was in earlier when he was learning how to get his his pilot's license but is the same yeah absolutely not the same set definitely not do not Uh, look and and the terrorist is just there with an open hangar and their bomb talking about terrorist (laughs) yes just out in the open all of in like ohio Mm -hmm. or somewhere every single like door of this thing is open the like the big garage doors kind of thing where the hangar is are all just open like the bay doors all of it's just wide open they're just like huh so we're doing very big terrorist things right with our big glowing bomb all right let's load it in the plane in plain sight let's take it outside and put it in the plane outside in front of everybody and this is in the back of the flight school and i think that this was the manny <laughs> guy but also they the flight school well, doesn't know these people <laughs> not as yeah, manny in the back told them that that's that was the person that bought the plane but i'm not getting involved and i don't know anything and we didn't do a background check and get the fuck out of my face oh, God. <laughs> right <sighs> so but they they go there uh two of the terrorists go on lunch break again i am not joking no. <laughs> yep no <laughs> they, yep. they go on lunch break um, so then they trick uh, the the terrorist that's left, the main head guy, mm-hmm. into leaving his station of his laptop where he does terrorist things uh, because they walked out in front of the open hangar with their dog. It's like, oh, what's going on there? You got a bomb? You get the fuck away from my open hangar that I'm telling all my secrets to everybody in right now. Yes. And I had wrote, written down earlier the we need to talk and then the sleeping pill scene. Because yes. I wanted to use that as an example of the just how random every conversation in this movie is. Because everything is super disjointed. Yeah. Like, we're talking about the plot, and it makes way more sense as we talk about it. Because it's really hard to parse. Like, nobody makes any sense, and the scenes don't connect. So it's hard to follow what's going on most of the time. Like, people don't have names. The names change. The amount of money changes. Like, locations change. Locations are the same place, but actually different places. Like, all that kind of stuff. And I wanted Uh to use the sleeping pills as an example of that. But then they brought them back because she crushes up her mom's sleeping pills and drugs the guy. I, I thought she was making coke or something. Like, she was going to trick him, and, and then he gets back. It. There's just, there's just like, a thing of crushed white powder. He's like, yeah. oh, coke. Oh, I didn't know I had coke ready. And just snorts it. But no, she just mixes it in. She doesn't even mix it into his drink. She just dumps she it just into dumps his drink. She just dumps it into his that drink, not and he drinks it, and is like, hmm, this doesn't taste like gritty sleeping pills that haven't been dissolved at all. <laughs> yeah, what? Okay. So then he, he passes out. They slowly walk up to him. Very casually pat every part of his being till they find his phone, sit there and have a long conversation as he's passed out, Mm -hmm. and then, uh, very difficult, (sighs) okay, they, like, action tension scene, uh, take his hand and put it up to his phone so he can fingerprint open it. Yeah, by pressing which, the home button on his cell phone. By, by just pressing the home button. Which (laughs) somehow does something or a thing and then they they take the keys to the plane that has the bomb loaded in it and they steal the plane i guess i guess yeah well they're having this very long what? slow un- uneventful conversation over his body the they yeah. show a camera in the bay and the two terrorist guys that oh, are yeah, on yeah, lunch yeah. break and they're downtown somewhere they're just having a nice brunch like they're in they're literally in this nice restaurant like having an upscale mm-hmm. brunch and just sitting there talking to each other like sipping coffee having scones and you're like what the fuck is happening like they're just on lunch break <laughs> and they do they have their laptop out how do they see this i don't even remember 
Uh, yeah, they have their laptop out, which is always centered on a camera they have hidden in the bay of okay. the hangar. And it's watching them. They're like, oh my god, they fucking killed they him. They found our bomb. But they killed him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Maybe we shouldn't have left on lunch break. So they run down back to the airport, I guess, from wherever uh-huh. they are across town having this nice lunch. Right. And the kid and, jumps and then in the plane. And that's when the, the plane gets stolen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So as he's taking off, the airline, like the the airport, is like, "Hey, you don't have rights to take off. There's other errors. Like there's there's planes in the fucking air above you. Yeah, they like, have rules. This is not for okay. This. You can't do this. So then he just takes off anyway. They're like, "Okay, well we're gonna call the fucking air force and they're gonna shoot your plane down. And you're and if they don't, you're gonna be arrested when he lands. So good job, fucko. <laughs> yep. That's not. You are in violation yeah, that's of not how it works. They can't just. Your license will be suspended and you will be arrested upon landing. And he's like, no, 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 I'm for the CIA. Call such and such agent because I'm CIA guy and the CIA will actually help me. You'll, you'll know. And they're like, uh, uh uh-huh. And and then the fighter jets show up. They're like, I thought they were joking about that. Oh, shit. Which, they're really not. 9-11's a thing that happened. If you take off in a plane and say, yo, fuck everybody, I'm taking off anyways, I'll do what I want, and you start heading... By the way, they also start their flight plan heading towards Langley. (laughs) DC. Yeah, to DC and Langley. Yes. It's like, yeah, the Air Force is going to scramble and shoot you down. With a with a biological weapon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fucked up. Yeah, he decides the best place to fly this biological weapon that he's got in the back of the plane is to DC. (laughs) Yep. So, but the fighter pilots are like, oh, don't worry, CIA called us and we're here to, like, escort you or whatever. Mm -hmm. It's cool. Yeah, just take this biological weapon to Langley. Who cares? Yeah, it's fine. Whatever. And and by the way, the terrorists still have their laptop hooked up to a bomb that they can remote detonate or whatever. Uh, so they're gonna try and detonate it, and he's looking back, he's like, oh shit, the bomb's armed. Uh, uh, by the way, my girlfriend's still here in the plane. Uh, you fly the plane, I'm the one with the license. I need to go mess with this bomb that I definitely will blow up midair and kill us both. Mm-hmm. If we don't crash first. Yep. Here, you've gotta fly for a minute. What? what no! No! Uh, There's what? There's a bomb detonator. I've gotta deal with this. How do you know? You've never... What? You are not a bomb expert, my friend. Yeah. Fucking... Right. And she's just screaming like, I can't fly a plane. He's like, ah, it's fine. Just hold the controls. <laughs> and then she just does. Yeah, whatever. So there's no out. problems. Yeah. Don't worry and about it. And it's fine. It. Yeah. It's totally fine. So then, then he, he disarms the bomb <laughs> by, re- by removing the back panel of the phone that's taped to it. And then <laughs> removing the Samsung battery. <laughs> the branded Samsung battery in the back of this phone. They put uh, post-it Christ. notes over every other, like, laptop that was obviously a Mac so that you couldn't see the Mac yeah. logo, but they kept the Samsung battery. So, fuck Samsung, yeah. apparently. They they fund terrorists. <laughs> they should sue them. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> they should. They yes. should. This movie is slander to Samsung. Oh, at uh, the but, same so he disarms time. the bomb, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. So he disarms the Go bomb. On. At the same time, I was gonna say, the terrorists run back to the flight school also because mm-hmm. I, I wanted to get to this scene um and they pull a gun on the flight school lady that was talking to the kid earlier even uh-huh. though they were obviously the flight school people right like the flight school's a front isn't it well i it, i think they're just incompetent it makes no sense anyways so they go and they yeah. hold her at gunpoint and she's like they're like we need a new another plane give us a plane she goes I'm sorry, sirs, I can't just loan you a plane unless you have a proper license. And they're like, we have a gun on you. And she's like, yes, and you'll need to fill out this paperwork. And she's like, like, very <laughs> this calmly. Is, this is the fourth time this week. And she's like, oh, another one. But this isn't done for comedy, though. No. It's, it's no, done with, it's... like, tense music over it. It's done like this is an action yeah. scene. And it's so weird. So then they, like, open up fire kind of thing on her. And she falls to the ground, knocking over a mug that was on the desk. It, it's bec- it's because an undercover cop came in and just started blasting at them. Yeah, one of the CIA with people. Disregard, with complete disregard of human safety. Yes. But yeah. she falls over and knocks over this cup on the counter, which it zooms in to show you really carefully. It has a tiny American flag. The f- <gasps> that fell, I'm into that, that shit. fell out of the cup onto the ground, boys. The flag. You can't keep, no. The flag fell but, on the ground. But the flag's on the ground. On that's the so ground. sad. So, that's so sad, sad music swells. But then as the terrorist gets shot, she reaches down 
and picks up the tiny American flag <gasps> and holds it up again because the flag will live on forever! It's so strong! Oh, it's so strong! Oh, oh no. Oh, the, uh, oh, there's guns, guns I guess. The only Maybe. Thing. Oh god, the American flag falls beside her! Fuck you! The only thing you can stop a bad guy with the gun is the good guy with the gun. It's the American flag. Oh my god. America. Symbolism. America. Fuck this movie. Oh my god. Skydog. I'm at full mass. Oh my god, it's so... <laughs> oh my god, boy. They... She held that little flag up again. And those terrorists, they lost. And they fucking died. Yeah. Gunshots. Yes, this is a literal thing that, I, like, it's the tiny novelty, like, flags that you put in a cup. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he, he lands the plane, though. He lands the plane, gets out of the plane, as, like, all these officers and army folks have guns pointed at him, at him and the first thing he says is, I have a weapon of mass destruction <laughs> in my plane. <laughs> yeah, he jumps out of the plane. He goes, my name's Colt all. Lifestone, and I've got a weapon of mass destruction. And it's like, okay, I'm so they're going to gun him down now. I'm threatening you right? right now. Please shoot me. <laughs> and they don't. Some, for some reason, they do not immediately end his life. Uh, and at this point, they rescued his mom a bit ago, which we brushed over because who cares. Yeah. But she's back, and she's fine, and they get reunited. And because he did such good service for the country, he gets rewarded with being able to fly a stealth bomber 30 minutes anywhere. Take out any target. <laughs> Your choice. It has a full tank America. of gas. You get 30 minutes with it. You know how to fly a Cessna. That means that you can fly a fucking stealth bomber. Like, yeah, the, the CIA is like, look, no questions asked. Do whatever you want with this thing. Yes. 30 minutes. Yes. Yep. Of America. Yep. Small reward for your service to our country. You get 30 minutes for a full tank of fuel. Colonel Armstrong will be your co-pilot. Go anywhere. Kill anyone. <laughs> That's well, right. They can't... We'll let well, you... Okay. There's a, there's okay, a okay, okay, okay. We'll let you shoot a missile at any house of your <laughs> choice. <laughs> also, radius. you can't... Hey, you got your, like, pilot's license on a Cessna. Here's the stealth bomber. Oh, yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Also, the rescue scene for his mom was just, when you said we brushed over it, it's because it, it just suddenly has all these CIA agents in the same oh. prison that she's at, and they're busting her out, and they're like, oh, we found the package, and it's like, wait, how, why, wait, where? Right. Like, wh how did they find any of this? I don't, I don't know. It doesn't where matter. Was she held? It doesn't matter. Where was she held? Was she held at the flight school? Was Did they know where she was? And they didn't, like... I, I have an answer as to where she was held. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's just... That's where. Yeah. Ooh. It's just, just fart noises. and Yeah, they don't care. No. This movie doesn't but, know anything. And at, the, and at the end, he got the girl and they danced on the beach... And he probably killed, like, 20 people with that stealth bomb. Yeah, then he's just slow dancing with her on the beach as 17-year-olds do. I guess. Whatever. I don't fucking care. Fuck this movie. This thing is... It was... I actually really enjoyed watching it. It was very, very I funny don't... to me a lot of the time. But not for what any the of the reasons that they meant it to be funny. And it's... I mean, they didn't mean for any of it to be funny. They thought this was no. deadly serious. And God, it is, it's also, it's funny, but also, like, really tragic at the same time. Because, like we said, it, it kind of raises some questions and, and answers them about the state of, like, society today. That there's people that make and watch these movies for serious <laughs> and think that it's a thing. Because, oh, wow. Every scene in this film could have ended with, like, hard cut. Show title, Sky Dog. Sky Dog. Remember, remember this movie? It's called Sky yeah. Dog. And then it cuts into some other fucking bullshit that has nothing to do with Sky it's Dog. It's not about skies, sky, it's not about dogs, dog. and it's supposed to be a Christian film, and it's not even about that. Like, it's so funny. <laughs> I, it's so funny. Just, it's about nothing. This movie has yeah. nothing in it.
I like I'm stunned at how incompetent this movie is because I actually saw you started to watch it. We we mm. pulled it up. You rolled this at random from the 219 movies that you have on yeah, the list. Yeah, fuck that so many. <laughs> the 219 dog movies that you have on your list. We rolled this one at random today, which is not normally a thing that we do. And I start. I'm like. Wait, have we ever heard of this movie? It came out in 2020. So we were kind of looking up some info about it. And I found first, I saw ChristianCinema.com was covering it as a Christian movie. Uh, and I went, okay, boys, you're not allowed to look any further. Just start playing it. <laughs> <laughs> and I made you just start playing it without any realization that it was a Christian film. Until we got far enough in that like somebody was like, oh yeah, you should really repent to God. Anyway, and then they just yeah. cut that and you're like, wait, is there? And I'm like, yes, it's a Christian movie. My- but... My, it's not. my reaction was literally Jesus Christ. Yes. And then you're like, yes. Yes, correct. Like, oh, fuck. I... <laughs> fuck. And I thought that it was going to be a really funny joke because it would, like, take this hard swerve into strange Christian things. And it doesn't. It just doesn't do that either. It doesn't... This movie constantly <laughs> subverts my expectations by just doing nothing with anything. <laughs> this is a movie for nobody. <laughs> correct. Yes. I don't fucking hey, well, understand. That's not true. It's for weird mili- like right wing military hard on seventeen year old post nine eleven that yeah, yeah wanna get off yeah. on being a CIA special it, agent terrorist person. But like it's not even yeah. for them because it doesn't have anything cool about it. Like I, there's no the action scenes are all fucking garbage. And there's no like the technology quote unquote they show for the CIA is all terrible like the ai lady like i said looks like a fucking monty python mm-hmm. skit where they have like the nutcracker chins it's just oh well Painful. let's write the dog huh <laughs> yeah, there's like there's like 45 seconds of dog in this two-hour film there sure is uh um oreo oreo's a cute little pup uh it's like a little toy dog mm-hmm, it's shaggy mm-hmm. uh and I think they actually shot at that dog with a real gun, and I'm upset about that. Because it sure reacted like they did. Yeah. Yeah, I think that they yeah. fired blanks at a dog, which... I think they did. I actually think they did. I, I think they might have fired Oreo a real round to... at a dog, honestly, with this Fuck movie. I, I, I'm going to rate Oreo. It really needs to call their agent out of ten. Holy shit, get out of this. Yes. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> you need to get your name removed from the credits of this film. Oreo is an ASPCA out of ten for me. Yeah, like, yeah. Please, yeah. Please, somebody, someone stop they, these filmmakers. Stop them. I we did skip through the credits, so I don't know if it said that no animals were harmed on set, but I think they might have been. Oh, and I'm worried I hope about not. that. Oreo like, was very. I cute. am. They showed Oreo roll on his belly one, uh, like roll on his back one time yeah. to get belly rubs while they were uh, playing also, a video game. Was there a pet? No. I guess there no, was. No. The belly rubs would be. Or... No, they no, didn't. They, they didn't ignored give that rubs, dog though. so much, they didn't even give it a That's pet. That's what I'm saying. They, the dog rolled over for belly rubs, yeah. but they were playing the video game and they never turned around. I watched for pets. You can consider Jesus. that he cradled the dog under his arm for like the last 35 minutes or whatever of this film. Your, but... your dog being an accessory is not a Yeah, pet. he never petted no, it. That's like, not he a just pet held it. Head, yeah. It was a really cute dog. What the hell? Like a little, like you said, a little toy uh, it was probably a mutt, like it's like something Bichon or, another, or something. Yeah. Like it, it was a, I think it's like probably a couple different dogs, but it's like dog breeds. But it's really cute. It was a really, really, really cute dog. Just a little black and white one. Mm-hmm. Oreo was a great uh, name too for it. Honestly, I liked Oreo. Oreo went for anyway, that this... trash and loved it. I like Oreo. This movie has a three out of five faith rating and a four out of five integrity. Oh, no. Is that real? I feel like that's real. <laughs> yes, that's real. Two out of five violence, two out of five drugs, and two out of five other. Oh I don't know what other means. <laughs> Thank you, Dove. I'm. You know what? I'm glad that we watched a movie with so much integrity. Me too. Yeah. America. Remember, kids. America. The CIA is stopping terrorism and definitely not... <laughs> bombing people in other countries and, for no reason oh jesus and co- yeah. <laughs> committing o- Can, overthrowing I, foreign governments that's not what we do here at the cia what we do is we shoot at dogs <laughs> jesus christ i i need to do a quick psa uh if you're an incel stop listening to our podcast that too yes yeah if you th- <laughs> if you think any of this was actually good and cool Just get out of here leave. <laughs> stop listening Fucking you can go leave. 
<laughs> Thank you. We don't need you here. Oh, Thank you. In any case, that's Rough Cuts. Thanks for being here, everybody. Uh, you can check us out uh, at Rough Cuts Cast in, on Twitter. You can send us <laughs> emails for movie suggestions. <laughs> roughcutscast at gmail.com. We had a suggested movie last week, which I enjoyed a lot. <laughs> that one was fun. This one was also fun, but because I was watching it with my good friend Boyks and not for any other reasons. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <sighs> In any case, I've got to go and salute a flag for half an hour, so I'll uh, I'll see you later. Right, right. I'll wait for this boner to go down first. Oh, okay. I mean, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna. Salute. <laughs> I thought that I was just gonna do the double salute. Isn't that how you do it? <laughs> that's how, that's how most Americans I do. Thought, yes. I thought I thought that's what you were supposed to do. I well, I watched this film and I. Oh well, well they don't do that up in Canada, so. No, no. But I watched this film and now I've been activated as a CIA <laughs> agent and I realize my full real life as... No, we Jay- have to cut. We have as, to as, cut. They'll as, get as, us. No, no, no. As Jason no, no. Goodstone. <laughs> my name is Blast Hard Cheese. The CIA, <laughs> CIA agent. My real name was actually Blast Hard Cheese this whole time. You didn't realize it. This movie activated my sleeper training and now I'm a <laughs> American CIA operative. So I have to leave now. Goodbye. So here's your problem. You're a gamer. What?